to the big shoe tonight we are what is this part six of uh lego b2 bomber <clears throat> appreciate you stopping by uh if you are joining late check the live button thing to make sure it is red and you are up to date and i believe most of the early crew in here at least at some point gas smasher joe russ phil in the kitchen and franco walker's here liz our queen liz edwards was here earlier mean jeff's here piano man rob there's chippy chippy Lori, c2s lock watcher maurice walker what's up everybody okay, let me hit that button there merch bot has joined how goes it, Scruff? Uh, <clears throat> still weird. Like, if you didn't somehow know, like, I find it interesting that it was on international news within 15 minutes of happening, but the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is a ma major thoroughfare for um, transport, as well as uh, the bridge that goes over the entrance to the harbor, which is, like, we're like the ninth largest port in the world and the largest and main port for found out for importing cars and trucks and stuff like they would bring them over here even and we'll drive them out west from here so that's going to make things interesting but anyway a big cargo boat lost power yesterday and crashed into the bridge completely destroying it and killing six people uh eight people were on the bridge one walked away can't wait to see that interview. Uh, one is still in the hospital and six still haven't been found. Um, and it turns out that I didn't even realize that that bridge was born two months before me. So we're both, we were both 46 years old. But that's like been the Baltimore skyline forever. Um, when I drove over it every day, I look at it every day. Like, if you saw my short I released, like, that's what I look at every day, where that bridge used to be. <clears throat> um, so it's just weird. And it's going to have implications for f at least five to ten years of everything getting backed up, having to rebuild a super critical bridge. Um, the port's going to be blocked off until they can get the bridge out of the way because it's blocking the entire um, port. So there's boats stuck in the port and boats stuck out of the port right now. Like major cargo liners kind of thing. Well, thank you, Just Me. Like my, my Fallout shirt there. But yeah, so I'm still like in a weird shock. Like I went to work today and was looking at it again. Um, it's just weird. So yeah, there's the really long um, answer to how... I am doing, which might as well go right into the toast. Uh, we'll do a toast to everyone that's been affected by this, especially the families, friends and families of those six uh, construction workers that are gone now. So cheers to them, and I hope I hope it, something works up for them, like just, you know, you know what I mean? Cheers. You know, like this actually lightly affects the global economy too for because we're the major import port on the east coast <clears throat> so yeah there's that <clears throat> uh besides that 
Um, if you want to follow along with the Legos, one, if you're new here, we'll, we'll get to it in a few minutes. And we're always duping around for about 10 minutes. But if you want to follow along, the directions are linked in the uh, description below. There's two different links. One of them should work. And we will be starting on step 248 uh, when we get there with some weird pieces to find. So we're going to start off with a hunt. That's awesome. I didn't have quite enough time to pre-hunt. Yeah, it was about 1.30 in the morning. Um, if it were rush hour, it, it would have been far, far worse. Uh, that's for sure. Um, I have no idea like, even how long it'll take them to rebuild it. Because, like, it's a mile, it's 1.6 miles long. <clears throat> so you don't just like you know grab some legos and shit and just start putting them together real quick um i mean you t someone's got to design the thing first you know what i mean and then i don't know if they're going to be able to reuse the uh the whatchamajigs and the, like the the deep the what the fuck are they called the things at the bottom of the water um uh, i don't know not the necessarily like the concrete pad on top, but I know there's the, the anchor thing, the piles. There you go. Thank you. Like, I don't even know if they can reuse the piles if that boat knocked them loose or are they just kind of like supposed to be kind of loose so that'll be fine or. Because like this is one of those things where you don't need to build new ones because you're building the new bridge next to the old one. Like they're going to have to get rid of the old one before they do anything. Yeah, I just don't know. Um, I, I would hope, I kind of hope they don't reuse the, the very base of it because they really probably should spread them open a little bit more, maybe. You know? Especially because I'm sure, like in a lot of newer ports, they actually have like bumpers around them. And that, when it hit the bridge, it just missed one of the main power distribution wires that goes across the water. But that has a bumper on it. So it's almost like if it would have hit the power wire, it may have, move the bumper around and maybe deflected it off but who knows um but i mean yeah no no point in speculation at this point it's it's done what's up d wood nick mcbay what's going on hello celeste oh i don't know if celeste was here or not before um i did revamp all the uk t-shirts because apparently the printer I had originally assigned those particular t-shirts to, uh, apparently that printer sucks. So, I now have the second best rated printer on the entire site at 9.6 out of 10. Uh, printing out of Poland for everyone in the EU and the UK and I guess everywhere over there. Yes, it is time for a Vertithermo Woofle. Camera was working. Uh, we'll assume it's still working and just go ahead and hit the button. Hey, it's working. And as the usual reminder, the camera is there for the Legos. It's normally not there. <laughs> not to catch the Legos on fire. Woofle. One back there. There's a wall. What an asshole put that wall there. Ooh, Ooh that was pretty good. One. That's pretty. Wee. Yeah. Let me do this right next to the microphone. I don't know that it really picked up that much. Probably from the noise reduction. <clears throat> but there you go. There's five for you. Got a little bit of hand hair as usual. Wouldn't be a woofle if I didn't smell burnt hair. <clears throat> I really need to come up with like a gutter system for the woofle, wooflers.
Yeah, they at least got a mayday out early enough that they were able to close the bridge. They just weren't able to get the crews off quick enough. Um, but <clears throat> the uh, the system they had in place to keep everyone from uh, from you know from be the system they had in place to be able to close the bridge that quickly worked. Um, I think what they do is when they know a cargo ship's coming, cargo ship is coming across. I think they send police active to each end of the bridge in case something happens, and that's how they were able to close it off as quickly as they could. Or if you watched the video, you're like, here it comes, here it comes, and then you see like another truck going, you're like, and the truck just makes it, and then there's like another car, but they closed it like just in time, but the, the work crews couldn't get off. You are welcome, Queen Liz. All right, I guess uh, before we get to the Legos, let's go ahead and take a call. Ooh. Uh, hello? No. No, I really haven't had a chance to consume much cannabis today. Oh, you got a, there's a full pack right here, huh? Oh, I, I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll probably talk to you later tonight. All right, cool. All right. Cheers, everybody. You are welcome, Celeste. There should be no more issues. And that's a bummer because in the UK, like, the UK itself area, <clears throat> there's only two printers. <laughs> there's the printer that I had originally selected, and then there's one that's like rated a seven. And I'm like, so I well, just can't, they, they just got to be printed in Poland, which is fine. Maybe Carrie can help out, give him some, uh, some tube equipment to work with. And as far as Mavis goes and the bridge, currently, during an active rescue op operation, if I fly Mavis out there, I could go to jail. Because that is considered interference. Not even because it's a drone, but I'm, you're, you're interfering with them. Um, so once things seem to get to a point where I might be able to toss her out there to grab a quick close-up of everything, I will, but I can't give any kind of an estimation. Like, we're probably looking at weeks, months. But when it looks like it's okay, we'll go out there and we'll see what we can see. I don't know if the boat will still be there or not. Probably not. I mean, that's going to be a pretty active zone, I would think, because it's a critical infrastructure. But we'll I'll see what I can do when I can. Uh, this is... Uh, Strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, bananas, mango, and orange juice in a blender. Uh, you missed some vertithermal whoopals there, Peter Rockin. TJ looked up the flight restriction surface to 2,000 feet until two th until further notice. Yeah, that's, I figured out. I gotta. That's the other thing I do. Go to um, uh, TFRs. What is it? TFRs.com. Uh, temporary flight restrictions. That's uh, they have stuff that applies to airplane pilots and drone pilots to go there because anything any flight restriction that applies to a any pilot like I since I'm like when I say this I'm not trying to like say I'm as good as a airplane pilot but the FAA considers me a pilot since I am commercially registered as a commercial drone pilot. I'm not an airplane pilot. I'm not trying to, like, get up with them. You know what I mean? But those restrictions are there for all pilots. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's something you got to check. <clears throat> Otherwise, if uh, <clears throat> you get caught, then you start facing federal fines and shit. Stop running All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> I missed the long... Oh, Chippy. 
All right, so uh, let's see. The boat didn't even really look lower in the water with half a bridge on it. Too. Yeah, it, uh, well, it's the reason the boat didn't really drop in the front is because it's sitting on one of the pylons. Like, it just blasted through that main support, and it's, the front of the boat is sitting on the pylon. It has taken on some water. <clears throat> um, they don't. They're concerned it might sink, but they don't think it will because it's pretty hard to sink those things. But still, they're going to have to unload it, clear the bridge out, get the boat out of the way. It's, it's going to be a while. Although I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to focus on clearing the debris before they, in the center, before they even bother dealing with the boat just to get the merchandise, you know, the cargo moving again. <clears throat> but who knows? Uh, Nobody ever thought something like this would happen, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens. And, like, I'll let you know, you know, uh, what's up. If you fly multiple drones, do you have to provide snacks as a drone airline? Now, I do occasionally uh, send her with a peanut tape to her that if she needs to, she can just reach over and grab it. <clears throat> All right, so we are on 248. And we start with, oh, where's my head light? <clears throat> this one goes dead. There's the other one on the other side. <clears throat> All right. So. Let's see what we got here. Black pig. Leave that is... Yep, there's one there. It's the correct type, looks like it. And two white bubble bubbles. Alright. So we have a hemi joint looking thing and an actual looking. The opposite. Well, here's one. Here's the one that says one. I wonder if there's actually a number on it. Nope. Alright, and that other piece is in another castle. Alright. Must not be very many of these, because I know those aren't in full. There it is. There's two. Oh, yeah, there's two. There's only two. Okay. again. <clears throat> Ooh. Not wearing my cat. Uh, once I'm in the room, I, uh, I take those off because I don't have to worry about accidentally stepping in cat barf in the office. Do it enough, you just learn to just start wearing uh, water-resistant uh, footwear. And of course, when you have four cats, you have four times the chance of someone decorating the carpet for you. <clears throat> this. Oh, 
down. Did you find where the other bits fell off from? I did, except for, well, I found them all, and I, including this one, but this one just keeps falling off for some reason, so I'll just, we'll deal with that later. <clears throat> oh, and this twofer is extra. That was one I found on the floor last week. So we have the extra pieces we have. We have that mystery three that we know went somewhere. And then the one of these that keeps falling off of uh, right over here because there's nothing to support it. So those are all we have floating right now. Yeah, chipmunk. Like, anyone that fixes potholes is a fucking hero. That sucks. Because that really is, like, the best time to do it in the middle of the night. I can guarantee a lot of shit's going to change. Like, the tugboats are, will probably no longer be allowed to leave early. Um, they're probably going to have to get them all the way out of the channel. I mean, a year ago, we had the Evergreen come in. Captain wasn't fucking paying attention, and he beached himself. Dumbass. <clears throat> that was the same the same company that blocked the Suez Canal it was like two weeks later. Like when that happened last year, that was right around when they uh screwed up the Baltimore Harbor too. Alright, that's uh ten and a one. the ones there's a bunch of those one, two I wonder if they could 3D print a bridge <clears throat> like how much initial structure would you need to have this weird big ass 3d printer like printing the bridge as it goes across it that would be some funny shit kind of like how uh the, the 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 railroad um tie the rail the rails the ones the the machines that lay the rails just drive on the rails as it's installing them <clears throat> Renquists, working on an oil oil rig, you are always aware of ship collisions. The bridge collapse speed really makes the threat seem much more real after seeing it. Yeah, it, uh, once you lose one of your two supports, I love this. It fell too fast. It had two supports. <laughs> one of them went away. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, that's a 10. These are 12. What's up, Paul Norman? Holy shit, I finally get to take a part out of the engine bag. Yeah. I don't know which uh, which way the tide was going when it went out. I'd have to look it up. I mean, she was 46 years old. They've been maintaining, maintaining the bridge pretty well uh, recently. They just got done a big refurbishment. <clears throat> um, but uh, ain't no refurbishment. Furbishment gonna help when a boat hits it.
What was that noise? Why did that camera stop working? At the same time, I heard a weird noise. Hold on a second. What happened here? I'm going to swipe over. Oh, no, that's no, that's fine there. All right. No, nah, sorry. Nah, camera's okay. All right. Mission control. It looked like mission control stopped working at the exact moment I heard some noise behind me, but I think the noise was just one of the Lego bags settling and not the camera, like, burning itself up. <clears throat> um, but anyway, yeah, they were taking good care of the bridge. But, you know, when there's only two supports for a mile and a half span, or, you know, just over a mile and a half span, uh, it'll go easy. But that's, you know, she was designed when the cargo ships were smaller. They've been dredging out the harbor for a while so they can fit in the super cargo ships as well. The ones that just barely get under the bridge. <clears throat> Pete the ghost could be. Ghost with the most. Apparently Beetlejuice Part 2 is coming out. And it looks like it's a lot of the original characters, including a really old-looking Michael Keaton playing Beetlejuice. And uh, they're in the same house. So it might be good. You don't really get to see much, except it looks like the classic <clears throat> coming back with the grandkids or something like that. You know what I mean? All right, let's find four streets. Six of those. Those should be easy to find if there's six of them. I don't know about that two X. Third longest span in the world. Yeah, it's pretty long. Had a lot of frost waves on it. <clears throat> frost waves on a bridge are just from so much freezing on the concrete and steel, you know, freezing and, uh, you know, thawing, freezing and thawing the concrete will get little waves in it. So every time you want to cross the bridge, you were like, if you got the speed just right, and you're, you know, if you got everything just right, you could actually, like, kind of hop across the bridge almost. Tiniest pieces in the biggest bag. Oh, you can't even see the tray where I'm dropping it in. In that case, I'll drop them here. 
Uh, Franco, I'm not so sure about Beetlejuice too. Yeah, I think there's only the one trailer, so I don't. It doesn't really tell you much, but yeah, I guess we'll see. What's up, Red Dwarf? Huh? Six of these. One, two. Four. Fuck, I'm about to deflate here. Where the hell is it? Five. Hello. Never have to look for that piece again. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. So for the Black Watcher says, so for the Lego build, when I see this thing go together, it seems like it would fall apart if it is picked up. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, need be, I have crazy glue. <laughs> I'll glue as much of it together as I need to to hang it from the ceiling. So, we'll see. We shall see. Alright, I'm going here. It's nice to know that uh, all the builds behind me are not this big. <laughs> While I am enjoying the build and the challenge of it. You know, something around a thousand pieces sounds delicious right now. <laughs> <clears throat> but, we shall move on uh, early summer, late spring. It would seem. There's no way you can stop that much mass in a hurry, says Red Dwarf. Yeah, like 200,000 tons. Like, there's still people, like, at work today, I overheard people like, I don't know why they didn't just turn it. You have no idea how <laughs> how hard it is to turn 200,000 tons. Like, you ain't out in your 16-foot fucking bass boat. Like, holy shit, people. Like, when you're in your boat, you just turn. When you're in one of those, you plan your turn. Oink Pusky, I am making chicken with lime cilantro marinade. Sounds good. I've had something like that at the... Uh, oh, an actual, like, genuine uh, Mexican place. Down in uh, Fells Point a while ago. Shame I'll never go down to that sh fucking shithole again. That's three. I don't know where the threes. I don't know if we've seen flat threes yet. About fucking time. Okay, not in the smooth bag. Can't turn a boat that has no propulsion. Oh yeah, that kind of, that doesn't help either when they turn the rudder and they're getting ready to straighten the rudder back out and then the power goes out so they were stuck in their turn.
these threes. It's not flat threes. I think there'd be a lot of flat threes. Let me double check bulk. Well, there must not be many of them, because they're definitely not in bulk. Apparently the same vessel had also hit another, either hit a dock, or had hit something else uh, in its past. And from what I understand, they left knowing that there was an electrical problem. And that may have been that one of their generators was down. So they were running on the backup. Which means you have no backup. Backup is there to get you to shore. Or you take a goddamn minute and replace it or fix it, but they choose not to. And they lost power. Regular threes. Oh, and they left with electrical problems, and they weren't even headed to get repaired. They were headed to the next port with no scheduled repair or anything. How many am I looking for? Two? 
probably only two. Those flat fours. Found someone I uh, know knows someone on one of the tugboats that was there within minutes. So <clears throat> I was able to get to see a little bit of the close-up stuff, which is just, you know, zoomed-in version of what you see on the news. So that was an interesting point of view yesterday. I think a buddy of mine actually works his own tugboat. I'll probably try to get in touch with him. I haven't talked to him in a while. <sighs> that it? Yeah, if they would have waited a day to repair it, they would have lost a couple million dollars, and now look what they lost. And calls. Checking the bulk bag again. I don't know where the hell these pieces are. Hmm. That sucks. Did I miss them in here? Weird ones. These are angled. That's four. That's a three. That's a wedgie two. That's a six. And a triangle. All right. Well, we know this is likely a polish piece. So let me run through these again real quick. And if not, we'll know to, if I find them, then we'll put them there. I, we got to move on a little bit here. Let me see what I can do. One last pass. <clears throat> Found a hidden bulk bag with them right on top. Huh. But I decided to pick up bags instead of flip bags. How many of these damn things do I need to? There's a bunch of them in here, too. Huh. Sorry for the delay. Hell. Yeah. It was in the litter box. 
You know, it's one of those interesting perspective things. A lot of people at work weren't real happy with the when the Eastern changed its main branch up here from the other side of the bridge to this side. I mean, literally just like right there or right here. People complained they had to go over the bridge every day. I bet at this point they wish that thing was still there because the alternative is hell. And it's going to be worse because a lot of people are took, took off this week because of this. So next week is going to be rough. The only traffic advantage I have is that I literally drive to the bridge and the very last exit that is open where they have the road closed right there, that is my exit. So I drive into no man's land where it's basically just Amazon, McCormick's, Floor and Decor, and Volkswagen employees. Oh, and FedEx. I mean, it's really nobody else that goes down there. <clears throat> oh, boy. Okay, I know where the fours are. Those big plates should be here. Also in that bag that I just found. That's good. That took up most of the bag. <clears throat> One of the biggest pieces in the smallest bag. And the smallest piece in the biggest bag. Good job. Ah, shit. Two or three. Golly. I don't know how this works. Ah. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to zip it up. One moment. Now it's bulk all over the floor. Almost there. They are everywhere. Oh my god. Get over here. That even makes sense. These things walking? All right. Two. Zip. All right. Oh, yeah. 420. Come on. Uh, let me take a phone call here. I think Scruff is building an Amazon facility. In is building an actual Amazon. Yeah, and like I got enough crap here. Might as well be. Ah. 
accidental sex machine reveal. Uh, don't have one of those yet. Guess we'll see. <clears throat> All right, what the hell are we doing here? <clears throat> if need be, I can run a little late as well because I don't work tomorrow. There's down. Why does it have? Oh, that's why it's on that out of order looking weird thing again. Oh, that's there. That's that one work. Like I guess the white piece isn't supposed to actually attach. Is that the layer off? Alright. Yep. Gonna do. I'll snap that in there, Chief. So weird doing this without my headphones on. Ooh, what are we doing? Oh no, right now, there we go. Now everything snaps together. Ah, and apart. Damn it. And once all this is properly reattached, should make everything stronger. Just the act of squishing. Ah, it's that same damn piece that fell off the other, uh, the other day. What the hell was that? Oh, it was like right here. That's right. Yep. Right there, right there. Squish that a little bit. I can see that's up. That's up. Alright. <clears throat> No, wait, that's in the wrong place. That sucks. Of course, if that's in the wrong place. No. no it's in the right place. I want this here. This here. Yeah, that checks out. All right. And that covers that. Wait, oddly. What can I actually push on here? Oh, yeah, I think solid down right there. All right. <clears throat> that's sparky at 4 30 i clock out if something is half done that's for tomorrow's me to deal with yeah there you go just start all over again there minky that might be a little annoying like a little bit like a pin all right, that's in bulk. That's for your mom. That's in a big bag. All right. Up, Josh Homan.
one of those left. Hitchhiker. Never have to look for that piece again. Alright, what do we do? Okay. I was like, why is it asymmetrical? But that's because there's the that's the ladder. Still called a cockpit, or the is there a, a different word for that? At least pilot's cabin, I guess. Flight cabin. Two fifty four. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's out of ten. Thirteen's got the long one. And blocks. I feel like they're on like a smaller shelf. There aren't many of those blocks left. Four blocks are in a small bag. There's a three. Two of those.
Lots of crinkle. This flashlight is feeling less than energized. But I'm full. Probably have to swap it out shortly. Where do you think I'm putting it? Something in there somewhere is loose. Cool. Alright. Well, you want this to hang about. Good, good. More more delicate floaty stuff. What we live over here, folks. Ooh, we're actually start nope, that doesn't even make it sturdy. It doesn't link the pieces. Yeah, I'm going to change that because that doesn't matter. I'm going to flip those two four ways so I can link these to actually bond them together. Let's see, this is a flat four, four, three, and a one. Skinny fours are going to fall. Are they? Is that these right here? Oh, shit. Nice. Right. So we will link this. We should have kept count on the pieces so that we could do a countdown. Ugh. <clears throat> um, not a bad idea. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, Lock Watcher. And if you look, I actually took your uh, your idea. I stuck the stealth up in the corner so you know what we're building. It's a good idea. It kind of fits up there. It doesn't really get in the way. Good call. Hey, you know, smug it while we're at it here. Let's do a toast to Lock Watcher and his good idea to uh, stick the little what we're building up in the corner. Cheers. Good call. Uh, I have different uh, noise canceling on because I have a fan on. So it must, uh, it might be cutting down on the crinkleage. And maybe next time we can get, uh, <coughs> see if we can all, as many people want to maybe try to count along and we'll see, uh, if we come to a consensus, like at the end of each episode, maybe something like that. We'll see what the next build is. I don't, I don't want it to be the, the phone booth. That's a big build. We'll do like one of the smaller builds, probably like a Rick and Morty thing. And then we'll <clears throat> see if we're going to do the Doom guy, the RV from Spaceballs, the telephone booth, or uh, I feel like there's another big project in there somewhere. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Would you like to ride the Bowden train? John Oliver was fucking perfect for that episode. <coughs> Yay! <coughs> ah, Chipmunk, thank you for two pounds. 
a toast to the local weirdos and the lost road crew. Gatorade. Cheers, a toast to them. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, pieces, right? like to ride the pony train. Now we are going to connect. And we'll get ready to connect this properly. Squishy, squishy. I just want to lock that in. Crack a lacking. Favorite breakfast cereal? <clears throat> Asks Lock Watcher for us, for all of us, if you'd like to answer. I usually get Honey Nut Cheerios, but not because it's my favorite, but because my favorite is Cocoa Krispies. But, like, that's just sugar and more sugar, but it's fucking delicious. Second favorite would be um, Cocoa Puffs. And then after that, I I don't know. I just really, really enjoy chocolate cereal. So I don't get it. Cause then I'll sit there and I'll just eat a box like watching YouTube. <laughs> Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes is Jacques Attack. Quisp? What is Quisp? It sounds like puffed. Something puffed. Oh yeah, next step. Uh, I think I know where that piece is. I think those threes are not in bulk. Those are right back there. Those are the ones that were on the ground. Those are in bulk. Wisp. Show me the honey mummy. Okay. You are in bulk. All right. <clears throat> Rob Warhol likes corn flakes with creamy milk and no sugar. Yeah, the problem with me eating corn flakes is like there ends up being as much sugar as cornflake like ratios about one to one as far as mass so it gets a little thick frosties store brand s'mores i really like uh a probably third would be malto meal um cinnamon toast crunch uh because the malto meal like the regular cinnamon toast crunch the name brand stuff every other crisp thing is like a piece of toast and then a piece of cinnamon toast Whereas the Malto meal, it's all cinnamon toast, so it's just delicious. Problem is, I get that, I just eat, that's one of these things, I'll just eat the whole thing and just not pay attention. Just eat it dry. Eat it dry! Ah.
and a black three. That's not anywhere that I know of. All right. But I remember seeing them in, I think, a bigger bag. <laughs> like this bag right here. I give the Ziploc bags credit. As many times as I've opened and closed them, they're still fucking zipping. I'm starting to get a little cloudy from all like the folds and sharp stuff scratched on them. It's going to make surfing them fun. That's why you kind of see me looking at weird angles. I kind of got to avoid the glare over there. Yuck. Up Ed Bird, <clears throat> Mark Gibson, Fruit and Fire, Grape Nuts. Uh, I've had Grape Nuts. They're not, <clears throat> they're not bad. They're just not me. Like I could get, like I, I understand why people would like Grape Nuts. I just, it's just not my thing. But I, like I could, I'd take that. Uh, I feel like those flat twos are not in the Oh, no, I think they might be in the box. Those angles are, and the fours are big balls. Going on Sam online. Grape nuts bear no resemblance to grape nut flakes. God, I hope not. Oh, Chippy's hungry. How's my gal, Chippy? I don't know if you updated. I may have missed it. These nuts. These great nuts. I actually have just enough milk for the Honey Nut Cheerios I have. And I gotta go to the store Friday, pick up Amazon stuff. I've ordered everything for the cat project. Uh, I was originally going to do a net on the wall for them to climb, but then I read all the horror stories of cats getting stuck in nets while people were at work, so I said, fuck you, net. And I ordered, like, a bunch of cat scratch pads that they might be able to, like, use to climb up the wall. Um, I'm going to install a shelf over the door. I got a bunch of cat trees and shit coming, and we're going to live stream the transformation on a Sunday, probably in, like, two weeks once everything is here. So we will have a special cat uh cat wall edition uh in a, probably a week and a half maybe two and a half weeks i just want everything to get here first but it will involve it will involve carpentry and me uh carpentry and late lasers Pick this thing up. <clears throat> well, uh, just in case they need to be tr like shown how to, uh, like shown that they can climb on it. <clears throat> Chipmunk says she is doing good. She used the word bollocks to me earlier. 
And that is not what you expect to hear from a 92-year-old Christian. Yeah, there you go. Good. That's my gal. Uh, oops. Two sixty, two piece, four, and I don't know where the hell that thing is. It might be in bulk. No, good two. Two's were in here. Four's on the floor. Oh, oh. Wow, wow. be a bulk piece in the middle there. It's the opposite of those that are in bulk. We gotta find that. All right, where'd you put them? You sneak in here. It's probably Rob's fault. Still Rob's fault. I mean, you know. 
I mean, he did say, blame me. Like, he, he, was, he was fine with it. Uh, it's still his fault. Oh, let's... I feel like this is the piece that pops off the other side. Yeah, it is the piece. This is the same piece that pops off the other side all the time. Well, I guess we'll put that piece back on again. And break that piece off again. Why that other piece keeps coming off? Not there. So this is sort of solid. That's not solid. Don't breathe. I mean, I can make it your fault too, Ed. I mean, that's fine. That's if that's where you're at right now. There's a few more of these. Queen Liz off for the evening. I'm off. Please say hello. Good night, my queen. Have a groovy evening. What are we are flipping this over? <clears throat> yeah, there's something loose in there somewhere. Sounds like it's in one of these boxes. Oh, I don't like you. All right, well, there's at least one loose thing fixed. Oh, that just fell off. Crap. Bonk. Okay. 
Okay. Oof. All right, what are we doing here? We are. I'm not going to flip this thing around. We'll do this upside down and backwards. But not inside out. Six o'clock. Yeah, I guess it was or is time for a six o'clock. Um, we'll go with this fresh pressure one here. <sighs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Sorry. Top of the hour toast. Cheers. Liz is cool. She sent me a picture of her woofler. My eight in those things. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Figured that'd be easy to find. Guess not. Yeah. It was literally in the last bag before I had to start over. I top up your woofla. Uh, put that anyway. Thirty six. What the hell is that? Uh, I've not seen that piece ever. All right, uh, let me get to start from the get it. <clears throat>
the two by four. We're gonna find that weird piece. There they are. There's only two of them, so that's good. These are. Get one there. Odd pieces. Maths. Hey, we're almost to twenty five percent. Holy shit. Hey, Brandon at work kind of did like a rough estimate like today. Uh Every weird gray piece, slight gray piece ever made. It looks like it's little fucking eye stalks or like spider fang things. All right. Spider fang parts in light gray. Okay. <clears throat> Weird. I'll get worried for a second. All right, so we have last two.
Nothing we need. First one. Now we just need that one with a little hand thing on it. in you or what? Where or where are we? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to get over there. Hold on. And this goes that way. We'll put the other one together and then we'll flip it around. Goes that way. <clears throat> and you want this kick back that plug? Okay, now I see how they work. If I can figure out how to do it without having to pick it up and flip it over, by golly, that's what we're doing. By golly. Ah, oh, shit, that's good. Not better. All right, shit biscuit averted. Where do you actually want these? Where? Ah, fudge. Stop playing with the death arms. Here. Cat hair is staying. Uh, I think that's in there. Now it is. Alright. Here you go. Do do do. Now we're there. Now uh, we're way under there now. Alright. Let's. How the hell am I going to flip it over with this big dumb thing? That. Big dumb thing's got to come off. <laughs> like, I can't flip it back and forth if that's the only thing there. So we know where the big dumb thing goes. Like, there's no way we can flip back and forth. There's still something loose in there somewhere. Mother. I hate these white pieces so goddamn much. And everything's just like, oh, that's way back there. That's why I missed that button. Nah. Thank you. Now you're. 
your turn. Oh, that actually works. All right. All right, what are we breaking next? These up here, they kind of want them like that. Those are humbles here. Over there. Something. Something's not right there. This is sticking out too far, and it looks different than what it does up there. Isn't that where we started? What did I do dumb? Ba -dum -ba -dum. Over. All right, let me try holding these here. A little more sturdy. Now there's the loose piece. Where the hell that wing came from? I guess if we figure out we're missing a block somewhere, we'll put that back. Does look wrong. What the hell? Oh, that's so far back. What the hell did I do here? Oh, wrong way out. Huh? Do -do -do -do. How did I screw that up? Shit. All right. Well, hold on. We got to back it up. Fun. <clears throat> wow, yeah. Come on, baby. There we go. There's one side. That just fell off. I did something wrong with these uh, white pieces here. falls off every time like you look at it. Alright, let's see here. Mm, this comes off. Comes off from here. separated okay. <clears throat> over here so fucking separated okay. right. shouldn't take too long to Figure out that and that. Then we leave two sticking. Oh, I did that. I'm supposed to do that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. That does actually explain why there was a slightly weird fitment issue here. Okay. And we'll put these here. The headphones on. Sorry about that, everybody. Ugh, come on. Not even stoned yet. Probably why. Here, this is there. 
Oh, that's a lot better. Holy shit. Yeah. All right, cool. Make that a little sturdier. Where's that arm thing? Don't know where my job. That has almost no support to it. Oh, you're fragmenting the B2. You're supposed to be defragging. I got some kind of. We're working on it. Yeah, that's why I'm so thirsty. I can finish this data read. T. <clears throat> well, I'm going to take a second. Oh, I give my neck a break here. I'm going to flip back. Sorry, no more crotch shot for a little while. Oh, that a lot. That was a lot of, like, kind of hunched over today at work. Ugh. Ugh. When I wasn't looking out the window going, what the fuck? I think I'm going to make some biscuits this weekend. What do I mean when I say that? You don't know. Bunch of biscuit heads here. <clears throat> yeah, here we go again, Rob. That's right. Actually, I'm probably going to make, uh, I'm probably going to experiment with my, um, dark chocolate chip. Uh, muffins from pancake mix trying to make a recipe where they're not like right now i can kind of get them so they're not so they taste pretty good but they're kind of dense so i want to i'll probably make a batch of brownies or brownies actually i do have brownies as well i don't make special brownies though um that's just extra work <laughs> i'd rather just buy it cheddar biscuits with jalapeno that sounds pretty good see you later peter harkins have a groovy uh evening i haven't had fire milk biscuits in a while For all three. Scruff in space. All right. We are almost 25% of the way done. Wow. All right. I hope it goes, like, as much little issues as we're having with shit falling off, I hope, like, I hope that's the worst we have to deal with along the way. All right, we are at 247. I got that all fixed up. We just put the eye stalk things on, right? So then we came 264. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then I went to that, and that's when I noticed that the they were wrong. So now we got to fucking flip this thing back over. I don't can't touch anything here. 
like here and here is good, here and here is good. And the center is not great. Alright. When that piece hasn't popped off again. Okay, two of these. And this we know just goes in the middle and this is fucking somewhere. <clears throat> two of these. I've seen those ball things. I believe those are in a smaller bag and mixed. Uh. <clears throat> All right, we got these two. Let's put these there. Put that there. Uh, the fours that are actually right here. So we just gotta look for the ball. I see some balls. <laughs> I found some balls. Nothing that goes there. <clears throat> Flashlight's doing pretty good. Uh, that goes there. Oh, that attaches to the little socket thingies there. Okay, okay. There, that goes on top. Sounds like about right. Well, that's supposed to go in here without breaking all these other pieces off. One socket, socket one, two. Woo. All right, <clears throat> that'll break off in a minute. Shoot. <clears throat> 265. 
Uh, bag 19. And three. Yeah, I know the three furs are 19. I think there's other pieces that are in there too. That's the flat threes that are in 19. All right. Uh, I know those are not in bulk. Oh, they're in bag 14. Buzzing. Woo. That's why you zip it. Of course, I almost popped it. Here, put a guy right here. See if you can help your other friends stay in. Come on, come on. Mm. Wait. <clears throat> Rob, my fiftieth, fiftieth was a great last year. It's what the fiftieth time you got to see boobies. Time to make tortillas. Boat knows what's up. Alright, four and four. Are right here, dumbass. <clears throat> All right, uh, looks like we're going on this. And carefully up there. Uh, <laughs> Four sixes. Four. one up off the floor because they're I'm still finding more. I keep running over my camp leg. But that's what happens when you wear a big uh, way oversized jammy jams. <clears throat> Wheat is flat bread. I like to make tortillas from scratch. Oh, okay. Corn, corn, yeah, like corn, yeah. I crone to Bluetooth or BTU 431A adapter just rolled onto the keyboard and scared me. They'll do that. Like, they'll come after you sometimes. Like, don't piss them off. They can bite. Oh, that's an interesting selection of, uh, oh, flat threes. Those were in 19. Uh, 
Wedges, but too long. All right, so those are somewhere else. Interestingly enough, those that wedge piece is in this little add on bag thing that has like random pieces in it. I wonder if these were forgotten. One of those. I do check that bag occasionally for weird stuff. There's another one of those wedges and then some flats. A 10 and a wing thing. But I'll keep them separated out in case there's something else going on there. Extended warranty on these robs is expensive. <clears throat> like the, the rob break in chat. Someone go, someone go reboot rob. What do we need? A, a weird one, a four, and whatever the hell that thing is. Alright, okay, well, I already found whatever the hell that thing is. So that's in a bulk bag. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, it does make sense. It does make sense that there's a lot of curved, smooth pieces. Alright, so that leaves a four and a wedgie. Probably the smallest piece in here.
Wait, did I already find? I don't know if I already find the wedgie. What the fuck? I need a square four. I was looking for both anyway, so didn't really lose any time. Alright, got that fourth, that square four thing. Bill in the kitchen. Well, I for one was lucky enough to marry Miss Wright. I didn't realize until after the ceremony that her first name was always. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that can be a uh, thing sometimes. Okay, full squish. Before it's done raining out. Oh, what's that? It's only oh, it's because there's only two things holding it. Neat. I haven't looked to see if it's done raining yet. Oh, let's, uh, let me pull up dude cam. I haven't seen any alerts, but let me uh, I don't have it on this computer. Hold on one sec. Where is the browser? Not down here. Keyboard. Ring. Dashboard. Oh, dude is out there. Um. That up here. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna take a minute. And I'm gonna go feed dude. And I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> sure, I don't knock that over. <laughs> Woo. Someone needs to touch it at your front doorbell.
the sound for me. I put two bowls out there because sometimes Tim and Mrs. Tabinate are out there together. And they tend to squabble over the bowl. He's a cool cat. I guess it's a he or she. I haven't really seen him with his tail up yet. Oh, that wasn't me crunching. <laughs> that was kitty crunching. All right, dude. See you later. Uh, my cliff bar was a brownie cliff bar thing. I'll keep an eye out. See if the uh, Mr. Tabinator probably show up soon. It'll be a race between the next cats and the birds. <clears throat> the birds like the... I don't put food out during the day because the birds will show up in mass shit all over the porch and eat all the food before the cats can get to it. But that's why he shows up, you know, towards the evening. I'll just leave the birds. All right, so we don't want any music in the background. How about birds chirping? And cars driving by. Okay, let's see if we can. Yeah, I gotta check the battery. Uh, <clears throat> All right, you can't get the setup from here. All right. I'll do that later. I looked up the small solar panel that you can get, like add-on kit, and for, like I plugged it in to the camera when it was at 57%, and I waited a couple days, a couple sunny days, a couple rainy days, and it's not indirect sunlight at all. It's just sitting on the patio, and the last time I checked it, it was at 60% after three days. So I was like, well, I mean, this is getting perfect. Yeah, just keep it at 60% its entire life or in that range, and we are golden. I'll bring it in every once in a while to give it a full whack. Is that 19 with those bully all these ones? Balls. Where's the balls? The bag nine.
Oh, there they are. I'm blind! The birds haven't come over yet. Yeah, yeah. Go out there and punch the ant. Get the hell off the cat's food. I feel like I'm not going to bother attaching this yet because there's so much more to add to it. Before we snap it in there. Chirpy. I think I'm gonna do pasta for dinner tonight. I might make oh yeah, mother. I'll make some fucking garlic because ooh wow. I mean there's a big bird in the area. And I think I'm gonna make some garlic toast with my pasta this evening. I haven't had garlic toast in a while. What the f is that piece? That's a bit. Alright. Wedgies. Aren't the wedgies in here too? Yeah. Oh no, there was another wedgie piece in the extra bag. So what is this piece? That's just a thing. Okay. Alright, so let me grab the special bag. Get that wedgie out. Yeah, I guess if the birds fly up, we'll hear them as long as the camera's going. Once it auto times out, I'll uh, give me a second. I'll check the battery life on it because it's been raining for a couple days. There's the wedgie. Got three fur. About to get dirty, and you know, I ain't gonna be able to hear the birds now. But let's see what I can find.
Yeah, I found it. Seven o'clock. Oh, thing disconnected while I was away. Hold on. Let me check the battery thing real quick. One moment. Is that dude cam? 59%. So it's been riding at 60% for like a week. Just a slow cycle. Like that's, I can't imagine that's just not fucking butter zone for a lithium ion battery. There we go. I don't know how long that, how long, how long was that? Like 10 minutes maybe? Maybe I should make a channel clock. What do you mean a channel clock? There. Oh. Rob. Like, I literally have one of my clocks in the living room. <laughs> I feel like you don't mean that. I dropped that. Goes over here with this delicate ass piece. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can snap it into place now. Two seventy two. I'm nineteen. Ah, oh, they're both in bag nineteen. It's the flat threes that are in 19. The other threes are in 14. Put that curve piece down here. Know that there's many more of these curved pieces. Three piece. Three piece. Um, um. What's that three piece? Fourteen. That doesn't exist. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that doesn't exist. It's just over here before we put it there. Hey, 
clock of your time we can see and your channel theme on the clock. What do you mean, just like what time it is here? Like 7.05 p.m. or like something else? So yeah, I guess you can't see a clock. I guess you can't see the clock right there. Well, that's on Alexa. It's not very bright, is it? Okay, it is kind of bright, but it's washed out right now. A local clock. A local time. Okay. Um. Why not? I may have something right now. Let me take a look real quick. Oh, I may not. Hold on, let me take a couple quick checks. No, not right now. But yeah, I can uh, I should be able to your clock on here. No, um, like would you want it on the Saturday stream too, or just like this stream? If I do Saturday, I'd probably just turn the brightness up on the Alexa. <laughs> transmitting video like is there wind blowing or anything i didn't see that far go by no oh, way here comes one sounds like they pulled in something wind blowing can't move them. oh i keep an eye on it part of the furniture. Well, I can put a clock on screen here and I can do something for time uh, in here as well. No, it's not transmitting video. That's weird. Hold on. Try to get it to like work. I see the frame changing. All right. Here comes the car. Car! Oh, yeah. Watch that one drive by. Okay. Sorry. I have a merch clock, but <clears throat> I don't know how well, it, well, it's in my living room, and I, I, I like it in my living room, so that wouldn't work. Oh, we got something for this little ding-donger here. So we have that piece. Two, I remember seeing them block, those little two blocky things, and a stick. And a stick. I have a stick in yeah. No stick. Yeah. Weird block and stick. Stick or an axle? That's a stick. Uh, 
Got the blocks. Two of those. Paul Norman. I'll see you on Saturday. Live as a public stream, so we'll be a little busier than usual. If I remember right. Is that right? What was the last? I don't know. Shit. Put it in as far as it'll go. And it's not necessarily something I would recommend without them um, checking with the proper authorities. For. That is too long. Sometimes that's a good problem to have, but that's not this time. of the bags like it may just be that that Another stick somewhere, then we know we're just gonna find it. swap. Them. That may just be an update. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more, so that may just be like an update thing. Guess we'll see what uh, how much more stuff we need to cram on it. Cram on it. Cram on it. The arm. Okay, no, I think those black keys, those are in bulk. Yeah, there's a, there should be a whole bag of those. If I'm not mistaken. An arm thing and a... Fucking ball joint looking thing.
No, it's actually got a, a fucking stubby thing on it. The annoying thing is, I know I've seen that arm thing. socket thing. I have that out in the specials. Is that arm in here? Nope. Do one more quick go through here.
Well then. There's the double version of it. Got it. Oof. <sighs> that was what one of a roughly six thousand pieces. Good lord. Did I not grab enough of oh there it is. I was like, God oh, damn it. <laughs> Dag yeah, it. Ram that on there. Put these on top. Left the side. There's a goose at uh, Amazon. Like I just noticed there's always just like this one goose. Like, I don't know if it got lost or something. But there's always just one goose in the north side of the parking lot. And generally speaking, I, I consider goose to be assholes because of how they've treated me in the past. But um, it takes them like some bird seed to work or something. No kitties. Camera's working. Alright. Get ready to streamline this thing. It's got a four. Uh, I think the phone's burned out, but let's see. Oh, there's still a little hit in the phone. We'll do a little 420 break here. Probably go till like another half hour, maybe a pinch longer as I usually do. Uh, 420 cheers, everybody. And those that are fans of the 420, we do have the Saturday Night 420 Super Stoner stream, co-starring Big Clive himself. Uh, he'll be joining in. We will probably be having a practice stream on Sunday to work with the new setup. And then uh, he will be joining us for the Super Stoner stream, most likely with Fizzy Wine. All right. We got the four thing. We need a six in that. I think that's in a bulk pack.
Uh, love it. Oh, that's not it. You ant. I don't think that's going to be smooth. These are all like pretty. I guess they're not in bulk. Two skinny double. It's amazing that some of these bags are still airtight. <laughs> As soon as I put my headphones on, something hangs up. There's a slug crawling into the food bowl. Sorry, cats eat slugs. Well, what the hell were you looking at the window for? You wanted when? <laughs> Really? Yeah. Please. All right. Leaving a gap there. And a whole bunch of weird people. All right. Yeah, when there's only one thing holding this big contraption on, I guess it's gonna have to. Oh, uh, that one of those goddamn pieces was 19.
Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same as those. They were in nine. I thought they were in nineteen. Let me check. They were nineteen or fourteen. No, these threes were in fourteen. Ah, those pieces were in nineteen, and I just dumped nineteen. That's one piece for short. Let me check the special bag. I don't think there's any curved pieces in that, though. All right, I believe we have our first official missing piece. Let me write this down. Do -do -do. Where the fuck is that thing? I can't even see the number. 277, that's 276. 276 first piece. Because I know those were in bag 19. Alright. I also keep a mental note that if we find one somewhere else, maybe they added it to like a different bag or something. But that's a polished piece. We're not building on top of it, so I don't know why I took my flashlight off. So we'll continue with the other polished pieces. I have that step written down so we can come back to it as well. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, flat three, which is in 19. <clears throat> flat four, which is in Got the backwards ones, but not the up the right kind up one. Yeah, here we go. Thought it was in a smaller bag. All right. came in from outside and the birds are so much better than the boom boom.
If the instructions weren't so janky, I would super glue this thing as I went, but like everything just keeps falling off. Like this is I think uh, any more gigantic kits we get, they're gonna have to be from like genuine Lego. Because these generic instructions are just make it less enjoyable when nothing makes like everything just falls apart built in place as most of the vids I guess you should play in the mounting soon you out uh, it's gonna be hanging that's the problem well theoretically it'll be hanging all right we gotta flip this back around and now we're gonna start building on the bottom just trying to get a Pick it up by the center. I gotta squeeze. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to not being able to work on the desk anymore and having to switch over to the box. Not quite there yet. <clears throat> and I may have to come up with some kind of stands or something that we're going to have since we're not going to be building level anymore. Because this indirect instruction just you're constantly flipping, 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 flipping. Back on in case that matters. Two of those. What is that? That is a 14. That is a 14 long. Alright.
<laughs> oh, wow. Whew, clobbered that shit. Sorry. <laughs> ah, just look the night vision. Hey, Edward, thank you for gifting 10 memberships to the Gaggle Goobles. Nick McVeigh, Spongy Skunk, Matacow, <laughs> Bill, Hans, Sponge, Don Billy, JB, a guy, Captain Barrett, and Daz. Welcome and welcome back. <clears throat> Alright, we got two of those. There's a block. Stuff coat cigar. Andy T. How's it going? I don't know if I said hi to you yet or not. We have L block. L block. Now we just need that half. There it is. Oh, wow. One of those. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting I gotta talk to gas now. <coughs> Uh, all right, we are building structure. What the fuck? What is this? Uh, is not the correct speed. Oh, this is not the correct piece. That's like backwards version of the correct piece. Well, shit. Oops. 
stop doing that? <sighs> Alright, let's see. So we need this to take this up. Alright. Okay. I remember where this one was. Right there. Well. Hey, where you at there, boss? Come on, crotch sniffer. Woo! There's not a lot of gray pieces left. Relatively speaking. Edge down where uh, down near the the oopsie bonk. Why don't I hear anything? Yeah. Did I just wreck my? Oh, that's my eyeball too. I don't know if I'm gonna deal with that later or not. Let's see here. Don't know kitty. No birds either. Just all right. So we got all our stuff. We done mess up. Right? right. I need to order that. There's an ant in the food bowl. Uh, 
come here. Okay, where do we put this thing here? Over here, right there. Looks good. That looks good to me. Look good to you. All right. See if we can put it on without breaking anything. I think something broke. Or it got tighter. I don't know. Two seventy-eight. I guess this will be our last step of the evening before we start putting together some white girders. All right, and I believe that's all in bulk. So I will stop. This will be our last step, and we'll BS for a couple minutes. I'm not going to go till twenty after, maybe five ten after. I am getting pretty hungry. That's that off of there. Four, six, and I'll probably be waiting to find all hands first and waiting for the barge cranes big enough to deal with the scraps. Yeah. It's going to be a hell of a haul. That locks all this in. Work that says fuck you. I don't want to do it. I need to keep my butthole. And let's see what we do. Double oh, yeah. So what's here? No, right up there. Oh, and from underneath. That's cantilever. Cantaloupe lever. Yeah. All right, two seventy nine. I always have to go back and watch the end of the video. Wait for me to say two seventy nine. Thinking that instead, I'll just go ahead and write it down. 276 is where that one piece is lost. 279. All right. <laughs> oh. Um. Sad to say, I'm I'm not going to pick it up this time because trying to pick it up and move it so much just breaks it. Is that thing still going? Oh, now it's actually doing it. Oh no, it's eight o'clock, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. So that's all renewals. Or, well, those. Those are all renewals. So I guess, yeah, 8 o'clock. Toast to the gaggle of goofballs. <laughs> Appreciate everybody. Toast subscribers. Everybody's watching. Everybody that's watching. Appreciate you hanging out here. It's, we're on a hell of a trip. Cheers. But yeah, um, holding this thing up is too much of a risk. Like, I don't even like breathing near it. <clears throat> but, like, you, you, here, let's, uh, I'm just gonna blindly do this, see if it works. Hey. There that is. I mean, it's, it's getting bigger. <laughs> Why is that all set? That's fine. That's good. All right. But hopefully, hopefully <laughs> next week we'll do something so this isn't so lumpy. Because we have this lump here and this lump here. All right, let me move this out of the way so I can breathe. <laughs> uh, let's see. At this point, I think I need to stand. Ooh. 
stand up. <laughs> All right. Keyboard for stats. Scratch my foot. <laughs> And hit the camera button. Ooh. Oh, man. Take that thing off. Like, I love wearing them. They're comfortable, but after a few hours, they get kind of a little bit sweaty ish. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now I can scratch my balls, like, just all comfortable as shit. Uh, there we go. That's better. Let me check the camera. Hey. 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 That's Tux. That's the fourth cat. <laughs> Tux eats a lot of food. I'm wondering if Tux is actually a female and like maybe pregnant. Because Tux eats a lot, and Tux isn't like that big a cat. Ever get distracted and start vacuuming? And I hate vacuuming. And I have cats, so like I have to do that fairly often. <clears throat> sunken crap can be a hazard for shipping to shipping for deck yeah oh yeah they're gonna trust me they're gonna they'll probably end up dragging an x-ray machine over that thing to make sure every nut and bolt got salvaged and moved out of the way so they can get their super super cargo ships through and through Jeff, my Grandstand F7 just came alive. Replaced a transformer drive NTN transistor. What is a Grandstand F7? Where is it now? Grandstand is that one. What is this? Oh, kitty cat is cheap. Oh, that didn't work. That's better. Ah, Windows, goddamn. Move your stupid box. <laughs> Grandstand F7. Oh, oh. Oh. No shit. Tabletop video game that was popular in the 1980s. It was produced in 1984 as Atari's only Laserdisc video game. It was based on the 1982 Clint Eastwood movie of the same name. Oh, Firefox, what the movie, the uh, airplane movie. Pew, pew. Game comes in an upright or sit down chat. Oh, no, I drop. Has. 3D stereo sound. Nice. It's a good good find, good fix. <clears throat> I've never seen Tux during the day, but I'm pretty sure they're gray and not black. But I also see a black cat that looks similar to Tux out back every once in a while, so I don't know. It's kind of like our outdoor. It's kind of like our outdoor lead, or the outdoor vacuum cleaner. <coughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe this food's any well, anything. It's he's uh, getting right now too. I don't know.
fire disorder human. Oh yeah, a little tuck right there. Okay, it's starting to warm up. Can't imagine what the dude's gonna look like. He's a big pooper. Like he's he's got a lot of fur. Like he's kind of a he's kind of a chubby cat anyway, but he's got a big pooper of fur. See you, bud. You can hear me. <coughs> Hey, some of the idiots drive up this road. We either need speed bumps or landmines. I mean, I'd be good with shape charges, like, you know, whatever. 50 caliber from a thousand feet out. You know, whatever we need to stop these morons. <laughs> Kids all over the place. You got a great deal on it. That's cool. Spike strip. Oh, I've thought about some fucking homemade spike strips, TJ. Like, I was sitting there, I went, you know, it wouldn't be hard to print a stand for them and just kind of link a few of them together and just say, fucking, just put nails in it because that way they're far away before the thing goes totally flat as opposed to the, uh, the hollow tubes to help quickly deflate. <clears throat> That or like, you know, hold a piano over the road, just drop a piano on them. Duck load shot for a 12 gauge. Pow! Outside of the racetrack, the loudest cars seem to be the slowest. Isn't that just how that goes there, Subsonic? Like, that is some funniest shit. You hear the loudest shit, you look over and you're like, is that a race, or did your manifold fall off, buddy? It's awfully loud for four cylinders, and I'm having a casual conversation with you while you're accelerating. All right, fuck you, too. Mm, Bye-bye. Yeah. I mean, I had, like, on my Cavalier, the, the race Cavalier, it had loud exhaust, but it wasn't rah, exhaust. It was, like, loudish, low, rumbly exhaust, because I put the proper exhaust system on there to make a four-cylinder sound like a big six-cylinder. <clears throat> Just get rid of all that high-end, naggy bullshit, and you can actually find some good tones in a four-cylinder. Especially one that's running that was running the fuel map I was. Jesus Christ. And the cam and everything else. There's research on why disenfranchised people make so much noise. They need anything for attention. I make 320 horsepower through a stock muffler. Well, yeah, but don't you have a boxer engine that, like, they pretty much break every, like, oil, every other oil change or something? <laughs> I've been hearing more and more bad shit about Subaru engines lately. My friends called my 98 Impreza wagon the brown newt because it was such a low tone. <laughs> An Impreza wagon that had, what, a three, five? Maybe? Three, two? Is it like three, five? Two, two. Oh, a two, two. Shit. I got the 1,000 watt stereo and a 100 watt car, but the muffler fling should be driven over the edge and forgotten about. Yeah, yeah. I might be, uh, they are maintenance pigs. Yeah. And I might be putting a, a slightly, do a couple slight upgrades to the stereo in my Suburban if I ever get around to changing the brake line. And actually driving it again. I should go start it this weekend since I'm on vacation. I may need vacation time to get it started. That should be fine. But I should actually start that this weekend. Let it run for a while. I mean, all I got to do is unscrew a section of brake line that I replaced like six, seven years ago. I just, I just don't fucking feel like it. It was too cold. But I'll be getting to that soon enough. <clears throat> Oh, 
what's the battery at? I'm going to go ahead and sign that out. Now that we've been watching it for a while, and it's dark out, what do we have for battery? 51%. All right. Well, it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. So I guess I'll see how that comes up after an evening of watching. Because, like, that's our cat camera for Wednesday. Like, that's our Wednesday night cam cat camera, basically, is the ring cam, as opposed to what I call cat low cam. <clears throat> So it's, well, uh, well, well, uh, yeah. Now, the, the only reason I got the solar panel was so that we could watch it because it got annoying having to charge the battery so much from doing the feed. But I think that solar panel is going to make it go pretty good. But sweating power. <laughs> uh, the extra coolant pressure under boost is a fickle thing. Oh, yeah, yeah that could be a that is a that is a thing. Bowden says air cooled Volkswagen engines are surprisingly sturdy flat fours. They are pretty sturdy engines. I'll, I'll give them that. Lori says I have two of three hundred fifty watt fifty nine watt RMS four ohms for the car. They're too big for in here. Yeah, I used to actually, when, uh, at one point I took my st stereo, one of the competition stereos, out of my car and I just had it in my apartment. Boy, did my fucking neighbors love me. When you got a 500 watt, 15 inch blau punk subwoofer, just boom. <laughs> oh, I was a dick. <laughs> Without the turbos, they're great, but that's no fun. About the, the, the boobaroos. Yeah. You're gonna go that far. You gotta put a turbo on it. <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to sign off here. Let's do one final toast on the way out the door. And that's a we'll we'll talk cars more on Saturday. Somebody remind me about cars. I can tell you some car stories. <laughs> but let's do a toast on the way out. Again, we will toast the fan family, friends, and all those affected by the bridge collapse. Uh, let's hope, let's hope things improve, you know what I mean? Improve, I hope they were doing all right, but, you know, cheers to friends and family and a toast to the construction workers, their friends and family. Oh, man, where is Tate? Does this have Tate in the does. Uh, all right. Oh, I'm going to get some pasta and garlic bread or garlic toast bread. Toast. Yeah, I guess you can call it toast bread. Garlic stuff on bread that's hot with butter, even. So. We are at pay step two seventy starting at two seventy nine. <clears throat> and I wrote that down. Write that down. All right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and hop over here. I will see everyone on Saturday night. Uh we're still gonna be one hour weird for all the North American folks because daylight savings time is fucking stupid. Like, it's so stupid, we can't even do it all at the same time. And then even inside the United States and various other territories, they do it at different times, if at all. Like, <laughs> daylight saving time. Sorry. Anyway, so hopefully this will be the last week that it's dumb. And uh, we can get back to our normal time here in North America. So... I'm going to head on out of here, and I will see everyone oh, later. Oh, what are we doing? Thank you, Jeff. Sneaking one in. Five more memberships. Appreciate that. For Rory McLeod, Delta Mike, Jonathan H.J. Christian, and Trouble. Trouble! <laughs> All right, we get on out of here. I will see everybody later. See you on Saturday. I am out of here in a five, four, three, two, one.